contraction in tensors in tensor contraction means equalization of a covariant suffix with a contravariant suffix theorem every contraction in a tensor reduces its rank by 2 proof let us consider a i j p q r and a prime i j p q r be the components of a tensor of rank 5 and type 2, 3 in x sign and x prime system respectively therefore a prime i j p q r is equal to del x prime i divided by del x alpha del x prime j divided by del x beta del x a divided by del x prime p del x b divided by del x prime q del x c divided by del x prime r into a alpha beta a b c let us substitute j equal to r in the above equation then we get a prime i r p q r is equal to del x prime i divided by del x alpha into del x prime r divided by del x beta into del x a by del x prime p into del x b by del x prime q into del x c divided by del x prime x r into a alpha beta a b c in the next step we write del x prime i divided by del x alpha into del x a by del x prime p into del x b by del x prime q whole into del x c by del x prime r into del x prime r divided by del x beta that means we are combining the term which contains del x prime r again whole into e alpha beta a b c in the next step we will get del x prime i divided by del x alpha into del x a by del x prime p into del x b by del x prime q and after cancelling del x prime r terms you will get del x c by del x beta into a alpha beta a b c in the next line we can write del x c by del x beta as kronecker delta of c beta into a alpha beta a b c again in the next line we can write the multiplication of kronecker delta c alpha beta into a alpha beta a b c as a alpha c a b c in the next line we can write a alpha a b where alpha is the upper suffix and a b is the lower suffix the right hand side is clearly the law of transformation of a tensor of rank 3 hence every contraction in a tensor reduces its rank by 2 remark contraction of a tensor of the type r comma s becomes a tensor of the type r minus 1 s minus 1 